Hi. Well, I just had to find out the truth about this Tillman Award given by Espy for Harry, which is coming up in July. I think Harry's a good candidate. He's been working um, for 10 years to create and improve the Invictus Awards. He's very happy about this. He in recently attended the 10-year um, celebration of the Invictus Awards creation. And he did, he attended, he was the only royal to attend. Now, his father and his brother were just down the road about three miles, and they wouldn't even attend the Invictus Awards to celebrate the injured warriors from various countries, including England, which to me was shocking. Uh, why wouldn't you even come by and wave? But they thought it was too uh, trivial, something they didn't want to be bothered with. They're not heading it, so they're not going to um, be bothered. And Harry went. He celebrated. He traveled um, from California to London for that ceremony. So Harry certainly deserves... Uh, the award for his continued work to develop and honor the Invictus Games and all of the participants. And during the Invictus Games, Harry uh, celebrates many people who have suffered uh, injuries and have had long service uh, so that by giving it to Harry, uh, he can help celebrate the many people who deserve help and cheering and praise uh, during the games. So it doesn't go just to Harry, it goes to all of the people who are in the Invictus Games. Now, this whole thing about uh, Tillman's, let me see, Pat Tillman You know, and he was, uh, he gave up a contract for about $3.7 million. Of course, that was big in those days. And he went to Afghanistan. He was shot and he was killed by friendly fire. And they weren't sure exactly what that meant. Was this a rival of his, somebody who was jealous, or how did he get killed by friendly fire? Well, we don't know all of that. <coughs> <clears throat> but now the rumor is his mother Mary Tillman does not want him to get the award my son my son he was so great don't give it to Harry that's the word in the media so I looked it up and the media is all saying Harry, reject this award. His mother doesn't want you to have it. Okay, so I looked up Dr. Mary Tillman, who was Pat Tillman's mother. The mother of Pat Tillman passed away peacefully at her home, August 11th, 2023, at the age of 87. So she's older than... Biden and everyone thinks Biden's old and um, so why are we when we are just dis disrespecting old people going to listen to an old lady yet okay but she's dead she's not protesting all of this stuff is lies the media lies the media lies she has no objection to Harry getting this award because she is dead I'm sorry, Mrs. Tillman, I didn't mean to say that that way. But you are deceased, and you cannot protest as to who gets the award. I looked at past recipients, and that most some of them were heads of nonprofits which worked with military uh, persons, 
And so that's the same thing Harry's doing. Um, Harry wasn't injured, but he did put his life on the line for his country. And it was shocking to him. He does have trauma from the people that he had to um, fight against. And he expressed that in his book, Spare. And uh, so he deserves to pick up the award. He wasn't physically injured. He was mentally injured. And mental injuries can be just as bad as physical injuries. Well, no. Yes, 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 they can. They just aren't seen. We aren't seen. And when Harry shows his mental injuries, what do people do? People like we see in the media, people in England, people in the royal family, people um, on various media outlets in Britain, they laugh. They laugh at a soldier who defended their freedom. So anyway, now they want more people to go to war to defend Britain. But certainly the way they treat their past warriors, not many people are going to want to go to fight for Britain. So Mrs. Tillman was born September 4th. 1935. She was the second daughter of Thomas Tugel and Ruthie English Tugel. Mary Ann Tillman lived in Bristow, Oklahoma until the age of 15. Her unwavering dedication to uncovering the truth about her son's death and her tireless advocacy are truly commendable. So again, I celebrate Harry being nominated for and accepting the ESPY award <coughs> for himself, for his duty, for his trauma, and for the many, many soldiers he represents at the Invictus Games. <coughs> like and subscribe.